Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for tuning in today as I share with you my normal daily morning routine. It's never like this all the time, but I try to keep everything the same during the week. So one thing that we need to understand is that a good morning routine starts a day before. You need to make sure that you sleep very well, you get enough sleep and so that tomorrow morning you are able to have that good morning routine. So I usually prepare my breakfast and night before. So this is my typical morning breakfast that I usually have. It's my oats with milk chia seeds and a plant-based protein so if you do remember that i once told you that i don't like to use a normal whey protein because it's just not giving me vibes so i've been using this one for over a week now i can say it's still okay but i'll just give it at least a month and see how it goes so here i just prepared my breakfast for tomorrow morning and i sometimes prepare my lunch and just put everything into a fridge so that in the morning I don't have to stress be all over the place. So I usually wake up at 5 a.m. But these days I plan my schedule according to the load shedding schedule. <sighs> Anyways, so when I have load shedding from 6, right, at least when I wake up at 5, I have an hour to prepare and make sure that everything is in place. Then I will take the, the 10 to 7 bus to work. But if the load shedding is from 4 to half past 6, then I need to wake up at least half past 5 to go out to 6. Then I can do other things. And then once the electricity comes back, then I can take a shower and make my smoothie and do other things. So I plan my schedule around that, but I always make sure that um, everything is prepared a night before, like ironing my clothes, um, my breakfast and lunch and all that. So that in the morning, if we do have low shedding, I don't have to rush. I don't have to be all over the place because I still need to set up some time for reading praying meditating and all that and in this video i'm not gonna include that because when i pray and meditate i think if i'm going to record it it's not gonna be genuine because i need to be with my um it's my sacred space right it's my private space so if i'm just going to put a camera there and uh I don't feel comfortable doing that so i'm not gonna show it on my videos but it's something that i have to include it into my daily routine especially prayer you have to pray like each and every day it's it's the priority because sometimes if i'm very late when i'm walking on the street like i don't feel comfortable i don't like my day just becomes all over the place so i make sure that i have to pray for at least five to ten minutes and then i can do other things So right now I'm just going to do my skincare routine. I'm not gonna go into detail because I did share my skincare routine on my previous videos. You can check that out. 
so right now i'm just using an eye drop for my eyes because they get dry during the day from the aircon the wind outside and other things so it's helping me a lot one common mistake that i see from a lot of guys is actually not having a good proper skincare routine you don't have to have a lot of products just simple routine cleanser moisturizing and sunscreen 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 i always preach that it's just simple routine then you can add your your serums might be your niacinamide hyaluronic acid or vitamin c that's fine you don't have to use Nivea on your face, on your body, on your feet, like everywhere. I mean, yes, it does make sense because it's quicker and yeah, but guys, it's 2023. Let's take care of our skin because now you'll be looking all ashy and like you don't understand what's happening with you. So please, let's just take care of our skin. And if you have a beard, please just get it trimmed um if you have to buy all those oils and moisturizing things for your beard please do that you can't grow a beard and not take care of it it's very important to make sure that you take off your beard if you decide to grow it and you take off your skin so that everything can be you know in the right places so please Let's take off our skin and we'll see good results.
Ina kile ni nyia kitle kitle bon. Kote kati ya wanu wana. Hagi utata uring ngapuwa. Zali na kile na kile na sukari sukari na 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 sukari